Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy S. Man. In this video, we're going to be speaking on this new triple threat offline reward, Larry Kennan. I'm not sure if I'm saying his last name right, but you know what I mean. He's a small four power for 99 Dark Matter. This is a free Dark Matter. He is 6'9. He's a great defender. He can finish well. His three point is kind of mid. He has deep threes gold, dead eye gold, which is not bad at all. But this card kind of gives me Magic Johnson vibes. I'm not going to lie. He's good. But will he make a team that has all these GOAT cards like, let's say, Thon Maker, LeBron, Ben Simmons, Grant Hill? Even if it doesn't affect this position, I wouldn't put him over the power forward, small forwards that we have because we have so much to choose from. Like, if we're going to compare this card to last season's free triple threat reward, which is Danny Ferry, he is not worth it. He's not better than Danny Ferry. Danny Ferry is a 6'10", small forward, power forward that can do everything that my your part player can do. The great behind the back, a great jumper, which is base 98. And this card right here, his jumper is kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. But this is the type of card that you would put in at the end of the game just for some lockup defense. Or you would put on triple threat if you want some defense and some, some rim running action. Because he does have a 98 standing dunk and a 98 driving dunk. And his defense is very smooth. I'm not going to lie. I think he has almost every defensive badge in the game if i'm not wrong but but at the end of the day it doesn't hurt to get a free dark matter once again if you can master his jump shot learn it you might this might end up being your favorite card who knows he's a, he's six nine so he's not useless now if he was like a six five small four then i nah but he's six nine he gives me like i said he reminds me a lot of magic johnson magic johnson can do every single thing his the only thing that's weird about him is his jump shot because it's kind of slow or it's hard to time same with this card but this card's jumper is very low it's like an 86 it's not that low because it has deep threes and dead eye but it's not as high as expected so when he gets tired he's gonna notice like he can't really hit shots as much but in this gameplay i'm trying to go for a lot of points i'm just trying to square every basket with him so I don't mind if i'm not passing the ball like that to the open person on my team i was just trying to do a lot of rim running see how well he is but this is a card like i said that you can run at the four he can grab a lot of boards for you he can lock up like if you have if you have like Mel Daniels, you might notice Mel Daniels can do the same. If you have Giannis, Giannis can do the same. If you have Magic, Magic can do the same. This isn't a bad card. You might go up against Don Makers. You might go up against a whole lot of crazy cards. You can run this Larry Cannon at the three to lock up, or you can run him at the four to lock up. Now, as y'all see in this gameplay, we're going up against Danny Ferry from last our last season reward. And that Danny Ferry was going crazy. But y'all already know I'm gonna put in every single thing. The mistakes. What he, I'm just going to show you all the gameplay. Y'all see, I green with him right there. But I believe that's the only green I hit. That's the only green I had with this card. His jumper isn't bad. It's quick. It's very quick. It's just, eh, you feel me? That is better. This, like I said, there's so much power for it, small for us to choose from. But if you do end up getting this card and he, you see that he might have a spot on your squad, then go for it. You feel me? Go for it. He's not the worst card out there. But his dribble animations, one thing, his dribble animations are terrible. He doesn't have Pro 3. He doesn't have a good crossover. He only has the Curry slide, which is good because it makes him like a little useful. But he's useless because these dribble six is terrible for a guy that you could run at the three. So my best advice is to run him at the four. You got guys who are pink diamonds that are better than him, like Bo Bo, Trevor Ariza. So it's up to you guys, however you want to put it. I wouldn't say sit there like how you guys did for the Danny Ferry. I know a lot of y'all sat down, played at least 400 games, 500 games, maybe even a thousand games to get Danny Ferry. And you, some of y'all didn't even get Danny Ferry. I would not, not do this for Larry Cannon. I got him first game that I played Triple Threat, so I got lucky. But it wasn't all that. Maybe if my team was worse and he had a spot on my team, then I would be more excited. But right now, he's not even, he's not better than Danny Ferry, I'll tell you that much. He's not, he might not even be better than Jerry Sloan. So don't get too hyped if you get him. You don't go too hard for him. But if you get him, test him out. You might like him. You might be a beast with him. He might be the best card on your team. He's not terrible. He's not useless. Like I said, he has great defense. He can rim run. And his shot is decent. As y'all see here, we pull up and we shoot a very late, bro. I was not, I was not fucking with this card. I was not fucking with this card. I did not know how to time this jumper. It was, eh. Like, it's weird, bro. It's weird. Like, once you go into a freestyle, you're like, I bet I'm greening, greening, greening. When you get into a game, it's just like you feel like you're getting contested. So it's like, it's just a weird jump shot. But the score here is 16-15. It's a close game, bro. These games I've been playing was close because, as y'all know, when I test out a player, I like to use them by themselves as much as I can. I don't like to include anybody else into the battle because it makes me feel like the card is trash like i really want to see what it can do by itself so when he comes to the team if he has to be a spot up if he could be a ball handler it don't matter you dig but like i said defensive beast rim running god as y'all see we over here catching these contact dunks with larry kennan 
So cards that I will say that Larry Cannon is better than are like some certain pink, like the pink diamond rewards and all those other cards. Like let's say those mystery players we got last season. Not Tony Kukoc. He's not better than Tony Kukoc. But like he's on like a tear of Kelly Oubre. The only benefit that this card really has is the curry slide. If he did not have the curry slide, he would be terrible. This would be the worst triple threat reward we ever got. But the fact that he has the curry slide, his jumpers on very quick. He has deep threes on gold. At least he can lock up. He's all right. He's all right. But you guys know today we got fan favorite packs. And we got Jonathan Isaac. We got Thon Maker. We got Pukasevsky. I don't know how to say his name. If I said his name, I apologize. Last season, before the season ended, we got Tony Kukoc. Like, those cards are just far, way far better than this card. They can do everything. They have the great behind the backs. They have the great dribble. Like, they have all the good dribble seconds. Their jump shots are all good compared to this card. You feel me? For a card that you you can't even say you're going to guarantee to get because you don't know how much games you're going to have to play. It's not like a goal you can set and say, I'm going to have to play 50 games and I'm going to have them. No, it's not guaranteed. You feel me? But as y'all see, we won that last game. We started a new game. Scores 8-4. We're going crazy with this man, though. We're going crazy. We're trying to, we're trying to make it work. We're trying to make it work. Whatever card we get, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to make sure we give it some use because I'm thankful for all the cards that we're getting. You feel me? These are for, like, no money spent players. Not even no money spent players because I'm not a no money spent player. I'm just, like, I'm in between both. Like, I love to get locker codes. I'd love to get free cards. I love everything free. But I just feel like they make some of the free cards trash. But this is the first card of the season. The second triple threat vote player we're going to get is probably going to be even better. Last season, we got two. We got two triple threat players. And then online, I believe it's just Bailey Howell, I think. I'm not too sure on him, but he's another small forward, power forward. So it's like, yo, we have so much to choose from. Then you have Larry Johnson as the My Team Unlimited reward. Like, bro. And then all these packs that we're getting are small forward, power forward. So it's like we have so much small forward powers to choose from. What are we going to do? When we get the free ones, when we get the free ones, we can save some MT because if we really like that card, like let's say we get Danny Ferry, whoever got Danny Ferry last season, say their small forward was like, Paul George or Kevin Durant, they can go ahead and say, you know what, let me sell that card, Danny Ferry, I like Danny Ferry better, and then they got themselves their MT back. Now with that MT, they can go ahead and buy themselves some new cards, stack their team even more. Like, for example, this card, Larry Kennan, everybody's going to have their own experiences with a card. Don't let nobody tell you what. Like any of these big YouTubers, anybody, they could say these cards are trash, they're mid. From my experience, this card is not all of that. But when you use the card, you might be using that card like he's LeBron James, like he's Ben Simmons, like he's Giannis, you feel me? So this card, you might, because this card can do everything. It can do everything. So you might really enjoy this card. I'm not going to say, I'll, okay, I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't say go so hard for it because it's not all that like the animations and the jumper is weird now if he had a good base great dribble six i would say yo grind for this card like it's danny fairy but you guys some of you a lot of people are probably gonna end up getting this card i got it off rip it was so easy to get this card but if i'm gonna rate this card from one to ten for for a card that we're supposed to grind for for a card that's a 99 dark matter not a pink diamond if it was a pink diamond and it had the same stats it would be higher, but I'm going to give this card a 6 out of 10. I give it a 6 out of 10. It could be lower. It could be higher. The reason why I put it at 6 because it's right above the middle. It's right above the middle, right above a 5, right above half of 10 because it can, like I said, it can do everything. It just can't do what you want it to do. You feel me? You, it can do what you need it to do. You just can't do what you want it to do. It can do the good behind the back. It doesn't have the good crossover. It doesn't have the best jump shot. It doesn't have deep threes Hall of Fame. But at the end of the day, it does what it what you need it to do. It can lock up. That's one. It can catch boards. It can dunk. 98 standard dunk, 98 driving dunk. The three is decent, so he can spot up. This can be a very good spot up card. And on top of that, he can curry slide, so he doesn't even have to only be a spot up. For, for not only money spent players, like people who have, like, their teams are, like, let's say, full with pink diamonds, amethyst, diamonds, and yes, those cards are nice, but let's say this card, this card might end up being having a spot on your team. You might be the, the captain of your team, the best card on your team. So I would definitely say give it a shot. Y'all see me right here. Y'all know I'm toxic when it comes to these games. I had to pause cheese him because he thought he was about to win, bro. He thought he was about to win. He was trying to just clog the paint because I was rim running. But you know we have to be toxic. But that's it for this video, y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like and sub button. We on the road to 3K. Turn on post notifications if you haven't. Make sure y'all boys grind. Have a good night. Have a good day. Have a good morning whenever y'all watching this. Shout out to everybody. And I'm off this, y'all. Peace.